we're excited to introduce our latest integration. 123 Form Builder now connects seamlessly with Google Drive. With this new integration, you can automatically store form submissions and file uploads in Google Drive, saving you time and keeping everything organized in one place. Let's dive in. To get started, log into your account. If you're new, you can sign up for free at 123formbuilder.com and create your first form. First, we need to navigate to Setup and then Integrations. Under Most Used Integrations, you will find Google Drive. It is available for users on the Gold Plan and above. If you're on a lower plan, you'll see a premium icon next to it. Now, let's connect Google Drive to our form. Click Connect to start the integration. Click Sign In with Google, or if there is a Google account already connected with 123 Form Builder, you can select it from a drop-down. Grant 123 Form Builder permission to access your drive. These permissions allow form submissions and file uploads to be saved automatically. You've now successfully linked Google Drive to your form. Next, let's configure the folder structure where submissions will be stored. By default, submissions are saved in a folder named after your form, but you can customize this. Next, you can create a subfolder for each submission. Just make sure this toggle is enabled. If enabled, additional settings will show up. You can choose to add to the name submission variables like entry ID, IP, country, or form variables, like the fields that are added on the form. You can even make a combination of submission variables, written text, and form variables. These settings let you customize how submissions are organized, making it easier to manage responses. Now let's decide what gets sent to Google Drive. When Send a Submission PDF to Google Drive is enabled, you need to choose one PDF option. Submission PDF with form layout includes the full form design and it is completed with the information provided by the respondent. Submission PDF is a minimalist version of the submission information, which contains a table with two columns. One column has the field and the other column has the answer provided by the respondent. Besides the submission, you can also send the files that were uploaded by respondents on your form through a file upload field. After enabling this toggle, an additional selection will be displayed. Choose File Upload Fields. Here, all your file upload fields from your form will be displayed with their appropriate field label. Before we finish, let's test the integration to make sure everything works properly. As you can see, the form submission has been successfully stored in Google Drive, exactly as we configured it. For more details, be sure to check out our documentation, which you'll find linked in the video description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.